left track with the knife. Different track. So not sure. Not sure on how bad the push will be on Magnolia. We'll just have to get out there and, and see what she does. Um, hopefully we're getting under control early tonight. We're gonna weigh it out next week. Got a guy on our hallway supposed to come help me in the morning. Or tomorrow, not in the morning. Tomorrow afternoon. And we're gonna put down some scales and see what the baby weighs out. What our percentages are. See if we can't get that under control. Yeah, we're gonna weigh it out after we run, because yeah. that's just the way we roll. Yeah. So not not give any excuses early, but I ain't weighed it out. <laughs> we not, like not giving excuses, but giving excuses. We like to gamble. Yeah, I'm rolling the dice. We just rolling the dice and we like to surprise everybody and ourselves. <laughs> Hell yeah, and ourselves. Yes. Well, I was pretty shocked when it headed toward the wall the other night. Yeah. So we're going to see what we got. Well, that's the way our lives has been for 33 years now. We just roll the dice and go. That's right. That's right. You don't need to change now. No.
lap there running right now. We got a minute before we hot lap. We're running a lot later into the night. Then it's a big show, the Governor's Cup, race, pump the pump. We're putting on up here at the mag. Like I said, we're running on into the night. This is uh, rough, rough, rough. I'll be as rough as I have ever seen the mag. For those of you who watched the mag race here a couple weeks ago, if uh, if y'all thought it was rough that night, then I'm afraid you got another thing coming. I think tonight we may just top the other night's track conditions. It is it is really really horrible out there tonight. I mean, early early in the uh, hot lap for the late night, they uh, they were rutting it up. But while we got a minute, y'all, I want to run over some uh, some of my sponsors and really thank those guys, but they don't get enough credit. One, Jimmy Hartley, Jimmy's Muffler Shop in Tuscaloosa. Hey guys, he's a great guy. He, uh, his dad, Mr. Jimmy Hartley himself, he raced for many, many years. A lot of y'all have been around racing. 30 plus years. I'm sure y'all remember Jimmy Hart. Jimmy ran a, a stock body Monte Carlo back then, what they call street class. Uh, blue and white number 29, about a 75, 76 Monte Carlo. He raced at uh, Kennedy Raceway back then, and, and I'm sure other places. Columbus, the bull ring. And he raced dirt for many years, and then he went to asphalt and run asphalt for, now this is a guess, don't quote me, but I'm thinking two to three years on the asphalt, and then he returned to dirt. So dirt was his love, no doubt. But uh, that's Jimmy Hart, and, and his son, Jimmy, he's, Jimmy, he's got a muffler shop, carrying on the tradition that his dad left him, carrying on the shop that his dad started, the muffler shop, and uh, he does different kind of work down there, guys, check them out. Jimmy's Muffler Shop in Tuscaloosa, number 205, 758, 2960, check them out. Hey, give them a holler, look them up on Facebook, tell them it's all Jimmy's Muffler Shop in Galloway Racing. Uh, God blow him, Jason, Jennifer Bird, great people to deal with, guys, uh, backyard race cars. They got everything, race product related. You name it, they've got it. They've got fuel. They bring the trailer to the bull ring every time the bull ring runs. Got anything and everything you need, guys. Uh, give them a call. They'll do anything on the car. Set a car up for you. Help you with anything. Jennifer and Jason Bird.
y'all a little bit about Ryan Philip Oldwald at Old Swap Motors in Northport. These guys have
Toyota USA Street Stock, brought to you by Trackstar Race Cars. Number two by Alabama. Mike and Jamie Bowen's Trackstar Race Cars sponsoring this class. And also, don't forget about Vendors Road Race fans if you're still here wanting something to uh, race or uh, wear souvenir wise. Go by and see them. I catch that Go Farm Posse trailer. They're over there, Kurt's ready to serve you with some of that Magnolia Motor Speedway apparel. Or some of the souvenirs they have. Go check them out. Colton! Get back. Alright, race director says we're ready to go. Be careful out there, gentlemen. Giving that money away here in just a moment. The young ladies will be down front here drawing. Tell me what happened. We'll go out. And I was planning on starting before the bobs in the middle for a lap or two. Work my way up against the wall just trying to see what the track had to offer for tonight. Knew it was rough to cause. But uh, got out there. Bounced around so bad. Honestly, my foot would bounce off the gas pedal. It was so bad. But was working my way up to the top. We didn't get two laps. Two laps under green. So it was over with before it started. Uh, still don't know nothing. I know one thing. The track is rough as hell. And there ain't going to be no decent racing on that shit tonight. <laughs> All right, guys, you heard Paul Paul. He's not happy with the track. Not happy. Hot laps. Yeah, this is after the hot laps. I'm going to go to the dentist and get my teeth fixed. I done chipped them all off. <laughs> uh, I think my tires are off the ground more than ever on the ground. I ain't talking about my front ones. I'm talking about my rear ones. I mean, I, I literally... I don't remember. I didn't turn over 50 or 700 RPMs. I couldn't. I'd, I'd hit the gas and off the gas, hit the gas and off the gas. It was, uh, it was rough. All right, so what, what you gonna do? Uh, I'm going out there with the exact same setup I have, but I'm just gonna do the exact same thing again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's all I know to do. I'm gonna do this. You see Dad over there? He's working over here. He is. Okay, what we're going to do is go out there and Want your foot duct taped to your paddle? Sure. Will that help? No. <laughs> <laughs> all you're gonna hear the whole time is bye 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 bye. That's all you heard. That's all you heard. Bye 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 bye. My head's gonna do this though. Oh well, but we're having fun. Cece's. Getting bounced. The boys are playing football. Papa's working on the car. We paid, we paid $185 for the kids coming here to damn last <laughs> We paid $185 for the kids to play football with a Gatorade bottle. And me to get my head off of it. How about that? That's the way I like it. All right. We're out. Until, until the heat rise. <laughs>
What's going on guys? Uh, sorry we didn't do a video last night after the race. We ended up not getting done until I think about 1.45 in the morning. And we were all tired and ready to get to the house. Uh, Dad was smart. He loaded his up before the feature ever started. We decided to go ahead and run it. And then we started eighth and we finished sixth. So definitely not the night we're looking for at all. I feel like I'm saying that all too often. Um, but unfortunately we showed up looking for running the Magnolia that we've ran in the past. The Magnolia that you can get to the top side of the track and kind of hammer down. So uh, we had the wrong gear in the car because there was no hammering down the top side. It was the absolute worst track conditions I've ever been on. Um, and I've been on some bad tracks, but this one hands down was the absolute worst. I should have loaded my stuff up and went home. Uh, ain't no doubt, should have loaded up from the get go. Let me kind of show y'all what we're looking at. Guys, I have had mud on my car. That's not a problem. But I never in my life have I ran a track that has built up that much mud in a 12 lap feature race underneath it. I mean, look at this. Look at that. That's a 20 pound chunk of mud. That's pathetic. That's absolutely pathetic. Uh, car sitting all kinds of crooked. I'm hoping it's just the body got jacked up on this side, so it's pushing all my weight over on this side. Uh, it's not supposed to sit like that, that's for sure. I really don't know what to say about it other than we should have went home. We should have went home as soon as we got there, but whenever they charge an arm, a leg, and a couple organs to get to run, and you pay it, you uh you want to run i mean you pay the money to run so you want to run but if i knew the track was going to be in this condition if i ever paid my money i wouldn't have paid my money lesson learned what can you do i mean ain't nothing you can do it is what it is and by no means am i blaming johnny stokes or uh, any of his guys for it i mean hey had a lot of rain and they did the best they could to give us a racing surface so hey thank y'all for giving us that opportunity some of us should have been smart enough to say the hell with it we're just gonna load up but we went out there anyways and uh this is what you end up with so but all right guys i'm gonna hop off here and start trying to clean this thing up and figure out what we got going on uh i'm gonna give me a jackhammer i guess to start filing all this mud that we got pinned out because it's as hard as i mean it's hard as quick creed anybody's been it i know you knows how hard that mud is so all right guys remember uh please like and subscribe to the channel and uh hey thanks for watching <laughs>